I want to build an AI agent that handles images, but where do I get started? Now there are so many different platforms, libraries, frameworks out there to use to build AI agents, but one of my favorite ways is to use Langflow. And it offers some base components such as a simple agent, as well as integrations from external tools where you can bring them in to power your agent and create even more complex AI workflows. So let's get started and actually jump into Langflow itself. I'm going to kick off a new flow and here are some templates that you can get started. We're going to go straight into the simple agent. Now off the bat, you are given this agent that has a couple tools, but we're going to go ahead and delete these tools here. So we have a chat input. It's talking to our agent. Our agent as of right now is using OpenAI. However, you can change it to your preferred model provider and we have a chat output. So I'm going to actually interact with my agent here and just give it a greeting in the playground. And there it is responding to me. We know the agent works. And now I want to build out my AI agent to handle images. So I'm going to bring in Jigsaw Stack. Jigsaw Stack is a bundle here in Langflow that provides a bunch of different tools and small models to help us and use as tools for our agent. Now, what is Jigsaw Stack? Um, they are a provider for custom small models trained specifically for specialized AI use cases. So here on their homepage, you can actually test out the the different custom models that they have. So they have an AI scraper, object detection, um, web search, even translation and more. And actually each of these are translated here as components in Langflow. So what does that even mean? I can bring in each of these components and turn them into what is called tool mode, which allows me to use them or give to my agent as a tool. So here's the image pipeline that I'm going to be building. I want to bring in the AI web search tool. I'm going to bring in an image generation tool. So they have that here to generate images. I also want sentiment analysis, which is going to help us with um, analyzing some text. And then finally, I'm going to put in the text translate. So we're going to focus on the image generation piece and also the different abilities that we can use with Jigsaw Stack. So you also need to bring in your Jigsaw Stack API key. So create an account with your Google or any email that you're using and right in your dashboard, it makes it really easy. You can just copy your API key and bring that into Langflow and store it as a global variable. And here you have your AI agent for handling images. So let's test this out. So I'm gonna say, find me a foreign nursery rhyme in a non-English language. So here it is actually giving us that nursery rhyme. Now we can say, tell me the history behind this nursery rhyme. Find me links and references. So here it is. It's given us some origin backstory. Great. Now what I want to do is I want to analyze the sentiment of this story and I want to actually generate an image. Analyze the sentiment of this story. And here it's referencing the analyze sentiment tool, which it does give me. So now I will say translate the nursery rhyme to English. Another model here available in Jigsaw Stack. Finally, for the main event, we're going to actually generate the image. So using all of the context above, generate an image for me that encapsulates the sentiment, the story, and all the details. So now we are using Jigsaw Stack's generate image model. And within a few seconds, here it was, and it generated us an image um, that is encapsulating the sentiment story of Ferrer Jaca, as we saw. Now let's, we could play around with this additionally and have it generate in a different model or a different type of image. So I want this in a cartoon image. Can you generate that? 
And here you notice it's actually generated us a cartoon image of the same story of the same sentiment. So that's actually really cool. And if you notice, it actually was a lot faster than a lot of the other models that we use, especially image generation models that you might be using today. So here was a really quick demo of how to really utilize and take advantage of all of Jigsaw Stack's components. There are a ton more here available in Langflow that you could play around with. And all you have to do is flip them into tool mode and give them to the simple agent uh, template and component here in Langflow to start testing them out. This was a quick overview of how to use Jigsaw Stack and build an image generation pipeline and image agent in Langflow. I'm super excited to see what you all build and how you use Jigsaw Stack and Langflow for your projects. Thanks for watching.